Tor and Odin were in the photo with a the clicker. They might know how it works. I'm off the case, but I can still visit family. Hello? Taga! It's Tor, your grandfather. About time you were coming to visit, kiddo. How did you know I was coming to see you? Never mind that. We have bigger problems. We're losing... Oh, fuck! Fuck you, you fucking hag! Fuck! Shit. Something is off at that nursing home. Valhalla Nursing Home, founded in 2014 for Odin and Tor Anderson of the Old Gods of Asgard fame for their twilight years. Built after the return comeback tour, flip-flop to be their farewell tour, cut short, canceled. As their agent, Barry Wheeler had managed to coax a few hit songs out of them before that. Balance lays the demon, a couple of others. The old men rocked like their namesakes. The backstage parties got out of hand. The air was thick with smoke. Wheeler squinted. His migraine flared, booze and drugs. A rock and roll cliche. They ran off after every gig. Wheeler had security track them down to the craziest after parties. Tor and Odin might know something about the clicker. With Wake out of reach, this is my best lead. More of those kids' lunchboxes. Torn Odin claimed to be my family. I know Logan and I never lived here. But I don't know enough about my family history to say they're not my relatives. Mom only ever said my grandfather was bad news. The less I knew about him, the better.
Oh, Saga? What's up? Hello, Rose. Thought I'd swing by, see the family. Not a bad time, is it? Oh, no. I was just, you know, tidying the, uh, the, um... I'm so glad you're visiting again, Saga, but Odin and Tor can't see anyone today. I was just on the phone with Tor. He invited me over. Sorry, they had a little too much fun on our trip to Watery and need to rest. I need an excuse to get in and talk to them. That's too bad. Okay if I say hi to the other residents before I go. Um... Sure. They always love visitors. Come on in. Not smart to be outside when the sun goes down. I love the architecture. I always dreamed of living in a haunted Victorian manor. <laughs> you say that like it's your first time here. <laughs> Here's some of our residents, or as I like to call them, our little Vikings. Look who swung by, everyone. Norman, clothes. Norman, we have a visitor. Where are your clothes? I'm, I'm headed back to the sauna with Artie. <sighs> Just another day in Valhalla. I should really get back to work, Saga. But feel free to spend some time with Mandy May and Norman here. It's good for them to have company. Tor and Odin are here somewhere. Need to find them. Do either of you know where I could find Tor and Odin? Odin is sleeping upstairs. But your grandpa's been acting crazy. He got electrocuted when he smashed the telephone. Don't make up stories. Tor went loopy and smacked himself in the head with that hammer he's always carrying around. Tor is hurt. Something's wrong with him. That's some fascinating network, Mandy May. What's your inspiration? Oh, uh, I don't know. It is what it wants to be. Uh, taking a break from making those little ornaments for Rose. Do you knit? I dabbled when I was pregnant. Socks, mittens, the usual stuff. Oh, how about knitting me some underwear? One more crude remark from you, Norman, and I'll put this needle in your ear. Was Tor hurt badly? He never let go of that hammer when he got electrocuted. It looked like a bolt of lightning hit him. Wham! Zap! <laughs> Thank goodness Blum took the hammer away from him. It's not Tor's hammer, no matter what he keeps saying. <laughs> Blum has his moments, even if he is a Russian. Andy May, you can't say stuff like that. Ati, this is your home. You don't need to keep cleaning. I take that mop away, but I know you'll just find it again. Girl, girl, what a once after being told no. Why rest when you are poor to work? <laughs> hey, uh, and you know Mr. Blum doesn't like it when you take his work clothes. Why don't you go pick a song from the jukebox? Yes, box holy rain. Just thinking about it makes my dad's foot waggle. <laughs> well, our nursing home is old. I shouldn't Very interrupt you. The government built a bunker here during World War II to watch the ocean for Axis navies and who knows what else. Ever since they sealed the bunker, it's been a hot spot for teens. The Ocean View Motel and Spa, they call it. Ironically, I believe. They go there to enjoy their beer and their vapes and electronic cigarettes. Ridiculous. The future is... <clears throat> So, the teens would drink there. Do other stuff that isn't appropriate content for you listeners at home. Need the key. But the bunker has a tendency to flood, especially during the winter. 
in the 90s, a, a group of teens went down there one Saturday night and got a little drunker than usual. The teens noticed one girl, Nora Hesburgh, was missing. They figured she just went home. When Nora Stokes didn't find her This is Tor's room. More moonshine. Was this a drunken rampage? This place is a mess. And Tor's not here. I need to keep looking. Excuse me, miss, but you don't see me barging into your room while you're performing mental and physical strengthening exercises, do you? I thought not. Uh, sorry. <laughs> don't mind me. And now I have to stop. Odin's in bad shape. He was drunk and watery. Or is this something more serious? Can you hear me, Odin? <laughs> Odin Abison? Can you hear me? I need to ask you a couple of questions. Odin? <laughs> He's in no shape to talk. shape. What happened to him? These are our twilight years. There's darkness in the water. We have our little tricks. And so do you. What's happening? It's never felt this way before. You're all grown up, Saga dearest. And you're back just in time. The forces of darkness are eating away at us. We're too old and weak. You have the power in you, like all Andersons. What was that? He wasn't a projection. Odin was really here. We were connected. Are they really my family? Is that why this is happening? I found a photograph of you with the cultists. How are you involved? We're too old for this brand of crazy. But we'll drink with anyone who's offering. The cult's been on our asses to join for years. But we already have our band. And those damn fools don't know what they're dealing with. No wonder they want a pair of legends. Tor and Odin are not part of the cult. The cult thinks there's something special about Torn Odin. I'm starting to see it too. I've never connected to someone like this in my mind place before. How is this happening? I was glad to answer your call. Vikings are born travelers. You are a seer. You can see the truth. But your grandpa will want to tell you more himself. Wouldn't want to steal his thunder. Tor is in danger. You can save him. Is my mind place more than just a mental technique? Sometimes my mind place even baffles me. Is this the reason? Is there something more than intuition behind it? One thing at a time. Tor is in trouble. Once I help him, he can maybe tell me more. You said Tor is in danger. What's going on? Darkness is drawn to the spark. Tor only thinks with his hammer, never his head. Prince of fucking darkness is making a comeback. 
Tor is marked by darkness. I can feel it. Is he in his room? It wants to take him, and then take me. Beware of Cynthia Weaver. Bad things happen in the wellness center. Don't let her drag him under, Saga. Does Prince of Darkness refer to Scratch? Is Tor becoming taken? I need to find him before it's too late. Stop this before more people get hurt. I found Wake's clicker. What can you tell me about it? Cut off from Tom's lamp. It washed to the shore. Good work getting the light switch. The light switch is like an amp. You can play rock and roll without it, but you won't blow anyone away. Art, like Tom's writing, can change the world. But the light switch will crank that change to 11. The clicker has the power to change the story. To save Logan. This confirms what Wake said. I can't let Scratch get his hands on the clicker. By Tom's writing, Odin must mean Wake. The woman in the painting looks like Mom. Was I born here? Or is this more of the story? Always dreamed of seeing New York in a fancy hotel. Getting in is forbidden, for your own safety. Time is long for those who wait. But in the end, stand to thanks. Sheesh, <laughs> didn't see you there. Need the key. You said I'd been here before. When was the last time I visited? Let's see exactly what she thinks she remembers. Oh, it's been years. We were all so sad when you left. After the accident. Oh, fuck this. My daughter didn't drown. You're remembering wrong. She's at home watching Night Springs with her father. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's useless. I need to stop the story. Mandy May and Norman said Tor is hurt. Why didn't you mention that earlier? Oh, 
You mean the little bump on his noggin? <sighs> it's nothing. The residents like to exaggerate. Uh-huh. I need to check Tor's room. What's in the wellness center? Oh, that's where we provide our health services to the residents. We have a rehab facility, dining area, and beds for special round-the-clock care. To stay young, stay limber. The clicker makes Wake's writing change reality. Can I trust him with that much power? Not sure I have a choice. Tor's in the wellness center, isn't he? No, he's... Well, yes, but you really shouldn't go in there right now. I'm gonna need you to unlock the door. This is FBI business. But it's just... There's some things that, uh... <sighs> yes, okay, I'll let you in. Thank you, Rose. Watch out for puddles. You can hurt yourself in the dark. Right. Um, thanks. That lady is a walking red flag. Ready, Saga. Hello? Tor? It's Saga Anderson. He's hurt pretty bad, but he tore off his bandages. Why? lock. Looks like it's controlled remotely. Door needs a knob. A 
A security computer. Needs a password. And a warrant, technically. But hey, desperate times. The Koskala brothers aren't just in the cult. They're its damn leaders. Day, then month. He uses European formatting. Odin said Tor needs help. But from what? Is he turning into a Taken? Center. The computer controls the door that Tor went through. need to figure out the password. And the doors are open. There's Tor. And he's out of his mind. Need to get to him.
Need to catch up with Tor. This must have been Tor's. What was that? Where did Tor go? What on earth do you mean, Sokka? Tor is resting in the wellness center. Remember? What? We both saw him go into the pond. <laughs> okay. Are you fucking with me? Or, or is this a story again? Now, now. Let's cool it with the language. She's clearly lying to me. Why? Rose watched Tor go into the pond. Why is she lying to me? The secret mission for Alan's number one fan. The hero will say Wake has returned. We're all characters in his story. Gee whiz. I'm not his fucking character. But I can use that phrase to make Rose stop lying to me. Wake has returned. Cynthia took Tor. What happened to her? When the darkness touches your head, your bookshelf gets shuffled. I put her lamp in the shoe box. What do you call a lamp lady without her lamp? Is Rose talking about Cynthia or herself? Or both? Rose. Um. Wake has returned. Oh. My. God. You're the hero! You're here to save Alan! Oh, I feel so silly for trying to keep you out of the wellness center. I locked Torangale in there after they lost it, and I didn't want you getting hurt. <laughs> Before I forget, here's the page Wake told me to give you. Oh, and you'll need my keys to get around. <laughs> Saga jabbed the selector on the jukebox, the missing record in its place. Saga couldn't have found it without Odin's help. A light bloomed in through the garden window. The horror story beat me to Tor. I have to rescue him. The key to this overlap is an old Gods of Asgard record. Odin will know more. The page mentions a missing record. Do you know 
where it is, Odin. Driven by passion. Raging like a storm. Your grandfather made the song to apologize. To your mother, Freya, and to you. Tours like a storm. Your mother did the right thing, leaving with you. Even if it broke your grandfather's heart. And mine. Listen to the song, Saga. It's all there. Tor only had one record made. He keeps it in the museum. Odin knows my mom's name. He's saying my mom took me away when I was still a baby. Plausible. Stay on task. The record is in the museum. Tor disappeared into the pond. It's another overlap. Has to be. How do I get inside? Think. The page says the record will open the overlap. Or is the page predetermining it? Am I just playing into the story? I need something to cut this. Angus remorse. This is the one. But it's gone. Cynthia has the record. She will tell me where to find it. Cynthia targeted Tor specifically. Why him? Deal with the nasty Anderson fellow. His heart was broken. Cancelled. Leaks started appearing. It was too late. Shut her out of her own case. The Dark Presence is using Cynthia to keep me from talking to Tor. Where is Angus Remorse now? He is a young girl in love. A broken wrong twin The shadows to come alive. A gift. An on of death wish. She has the record. I can get it out of her. Angus Remorse. Where is it, Cynthia? Drown 
hands beneath dark water. Too many hands. The bathroom frightened her. Cut short. She screamed. An old folks care home. The anger's remorse record is in Cynthia's room. In her bathtub. Anger's remorse is missing. Who took it? Our shame becomes the pale horse. Oh, Tor. Bro. Tor's love for you is in that song. That's why Cynthia wants it. To ruin him. She made Tor lust after her. We fought one scratching hag years ago. Now he's fallen for another, and we might lose him for good. One less Anderson. That isn't going to happen. Cynthia has Tor in the overlap. Anger's remorse is the key to get there. I need to make Cynthia reveal its location. Odin Anderson stirred in his bed, his vision hazy, smudged. He felt weighted down by an ocean of dark water. Through the haze, he made out Saga. Odin felt useless. He wished he could tell Saga how his silly faces made her smile when she was young, too young to remember. Odin used to joke that Tor was her grandfather, but he was the Allfather. He smiled at the memory. Odin was the kinder of the Anderson brothers. Tor lacked patience, more volatile. The brothers fought a lot, but they were inseparable. Now Tor was missing, dragged into darkness. Odin could feel it. Time was running out for both of them. Crying in the dark place. What has been has gone. But trouble doesn't look like this. You can go to the basement and check the generator. But look out. You can never know in which street the devil sits. The basement. Thanks. Open this with my bare hands.
the power's off. Use. Could come in handy. Cynthia Weaver had always kept her lantern close. Someone in the bathroom with her. In the dark. Dark water pressed itself into her. She screamed. get through this. There. Power's back on.
Down? Was Cynthia into civil engineering? The Dark Presence uses people's memories, their fears to corrupt them. Cynthia would deal with the nasty Anderson fellow, Tor, always poking people with his hammer. He had it coming. Anger's Remorse, by Old Gods of Asgard. I need to play it in the jukebox. Using it for protection? Did she know about the Dark Presence? I feel like I'm missing some context here. I'm guessing the woman in this photograph was not Cynthia's favorite. A power station? Hmm. Everyone needs a hobby, I guess. I was close to someone named Thomas Sane. Who is he? Tom was back. Tom had enemies. In a fancy hotel. Just his imagination. A nightmare started to creep in. Cynthia Weaver smiled. An old flame. Maybe Tom was taken. Cynthia Weaver hated being old. She'd been a doer, a fighter. Now the bathroom frightened her, afraid she'd break her hip, like Norman. Cynthia had always kept her lantern close to hold the darkness at bay. Oh dear, my lantern. I think I've lost it, Cynthia said. This will put a smile back on your face, my dear, a voice said, a man's voice. Someone in the bathroom with her, in the dark, the light bulb had blown. She meant to replace it days ago. How could she forget? She had slipped getting out of the tub. She lay in the tub now. She lifted her hand. It looked wrong. Too many hands. In a black void with no sense of up or down, she was underwater. 
A dark shape pushed her down. Dark water pressed itself into her. She screamed. It came out in bubbles. Cynthia Weaver smiled. Lost without her lantern? Nonsense. Cynthia felt as giddy as a young girl in love. Cynthia had loved Thomas Zane. Tom only had eyes for Barbara. Barbara was bad news. Tom had seen it in the end. Cynthia had been there to comfort him. And when he left, Cynthia waited. Years of waiting. Now Tom had come back to her. They'd be together now. See the world. She'd always dreamed of seeing New York. They were there now in a fancy hotel. She drew a bath. She would become like Barbara. No, better. She sank into dark water, into Tom. Tom had enemies plotting against him. Cynthia would deal with the nasty Anderson fellow, Tor, always poking people with his hammer. He had it coming. Anything for Tom. Emmett Elwood had had enough. All his life he'd been surrounded by the same small-minded, impolite, ignorant people in town. Their endless gossip, their nose-picking, chewing food with their mouths open, not washing their hands after visiting the restroom, and touching things, touching everything. The world was going to hell. He'd watched day after day how all the nice things in life in Bright Falls were spoiled and ruined forever. There would be a just and terrible reckoning. Emmett had imagined many times how he'd make them pay. He had lovingly tended his anger, made it grow hotter. It was out in the open now. Ugly and slobbering, they reached at him with their unwashed hands. He beat them down, beat them until they no longer moved. And then he'd wash his hands with a strong antibacterial disinfectant. The song will show me the way. Look in the mirror, cobweb of my soul. My face forever, seeking to be whole. Driven by passion, rage and light. The overlap is at the pond. Thank you. 
This isn't real. <laughs> Fuck this place. Am I going in circles? I feel like I've been here before. No power. Can't use the switch. The, 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 the louder. <laughs> I need to get the power on to use the switch. just disappeared. The light did that? She's here. A dead end.
Back again. Gotta go deeper. You took Tor. I'm here to take him back. I need to get the lights on to reach him. So damn dark down here. I'm underwater. She's trapped me at the bottom. I don't think I'm gonna make it. a way to get the power back on.
Here, Tor. Hold on. You can apologize to him yourself. I'm getting you the hell out of here. Logan into the story. Last in danger. 
I need to get back. I'm writing a story. It's the only way. Then change the story. If this is the past, if this is you still in the dark place, then you can do that, right? You cannot write her in. She's my daughter, goddammit! Logan is in the story. I can get him to change it. I have the clicker. I'll make him change it now. He had no right to do this to Logan. To my family. Tor! Uh, oh, fucking hell. Are you okay? Uh, hey, it took your sweet time to come save your grandpa, huh? Uh. Nice attitude. A family trait? Uh, uh, you're right. Sorry. Thanks for helping out an old bastard like me. That's my job. Now, I've got some questions for you. <laughs> of course you do, sweetie pie. <laughs> and I got answers. <laughs> We need to talk. <sighs> Damn right. Lots for me to explain. But not here. The knight's got ears. We can have our talk in your head. You have a room there, right? How do you know about that? I'm your grandfather. <laughs> what don't I know? know about my mind place? How is that possible? We all have the power. Find the truth. Damn right I do. Odin already told you you're a seer. You can gaze into their heads, see the truth. See past the lies. Past this bullshit horror story. Us Andersons aren't bound by it. You can fight it. Don't be the story. Make the story. It's true. I am a seer. I have a power. My mind place is more than I thought it was. This isn't my intuition. I'm seeing their thoughts. Is this why I know the truth about Logan? While everyone else forgot? You said you were my grandfather. If that's true, why wasn't I told about you? You were part of our fucked up family, way before this horror story. I was a shitty fucking dad to Freya. Your mom didn't deserve that. Not one bit. Things were said and done. Not a day goes by I haven't regretted it. Fucking father of yours didn't make things any easier. I know Freya is gone. So I need to apologize to you. I am sorry, Saga. I can see he's sorry. Mom said she didn't want anything to do with my grandfather. And that my father died before I could remember. It all matches. Tor and Odin are part of my family. You said you were a shitty father to my mom. Is that why she left? Freya never looked back. My girl was strong. Freya always thought our powers had a dangerous side. Odin and me did fuck with things that should not have been fucked with. Your mom had common sense. She raised you right. Kept you safe. I'm not surprised she didn't tell you about the Anderson power. She was always protecting me. Whenever I told my mom about my mind place, she called it make-believe. 
I wish you'd been more honest with me. At least towards the end. Mom wouldn't talk about my father. You knew him? Some doors are better left closed. Your dad was a complicated bastard. Always thinking too many steps ahead. That's not how we work. There was trouble, and then he was gone. I didn't handle it well. Freya didn't want anything to do with me after that. I can't blame her. I never knew my dad or my mom's family. So many broken relationships in my past. I won't lose mine. With Logan. With David. I won't stop until they're safe. I have the clicker. Can I use it to save my daughter? An app? Get your guitar roaring, and your drums crashing. Blow reality's eardrums. Just the light switch isn't enough. It's Tom's story we're dealing with, so he's gotta be the one to rewrite it. After that's done, he can flick that switch to bring the whole thing home, baby. I can't use the clicker without Wake. Tom. Meaning Wake. He needs to rewrite the story first. I can't stop the horror story without him. Thanks for telling me this, Tor. I need to go find Wake. To stop this. The old gods of Asgard will be ready to help. Me and my bro will bring the rock when you need it. Remember, your daughter is alive. Just kept from you by this bullshit horror story. I needed to hear that. Thanks, Grandpa. Don't worry about me, kiddo. I'll drag my sorry ass over the hole. Two shots of Anderson's finest will fix us both up. The FBC is holding Wake at the Sheriff's Station. I need to make Agent Estevez understand. They have Wake and I have the Clicker. We have to work together to stop this. Casey. Do you read me, Casey? Damn it. Where are you, Casey? He better be okay. Focus, Saga. Get to the station. To Wake.
Job saga. Now keep moving. Burst in here and expect others to clean up after them. She wouldn't just wander off and not tell us, especially after all the weirdness of the law. I'm worried, James. Well, I'm fucking worried, too. We just had to follow some stupid incident. out. Always a good sign. Anyone here? I'm here, in the closet. Agent Estevez? Is that you? Anderson? Didn't I tell you to fuck off? Looks like it's a good thing I didn't. Looks like. My leg's busted, so I'm gonna need your help. Listen, there is a person out there with you invaded by something that we call the Shadow, and if you a don't- taken. Yeah, I'll handle it. That leg doesn't look good. <sighs> Feels even worse. But thanks for saving the rest of me. We should talk. What happened here? <laughs> Where to fucking start? Uh, we came to check out a system alert at Cauldron Lake, but it's worse than we could handle. Real boondoggle. The police, my own agents, most were invaded before we could even react. Have you found my partner, Agent Casey? Yeah, we found him, out in the woods. He had a close encounter with the Shadow, and it did something to him. Is he okay? He's alive. We took him down to the morgue for an examination. Haven't heard anything since the attack. What did the FBC come here to do? Bright Falls is the site of a recurring altered world event. The Shadow is stronger than we expected. We're low on resources, problems at HQ. 
But we do have equipment for dealing with the shaded threat. We were just caught off guard before we could set it up. Where is Wake? I know what's going on here. Wake can fix this. Alan Wake is a para-utilitarian. The word's a mouthful, so you know it's serious. We have him locked up in the holding cells per protocol. He's connected to the Shadow in some way. Estevez, I need to see Wake. How do I get into the cell block? Okay. <laughs> Protocols don't mean that much at this point anyway. Don't make me regret this, Anderson. Until the power's back on, the door to the holding cells won't open. There's a fuse box downstairs in the basement. Here. You'll need these keys. Back into the morgue, huh? Fantastic. Do you read me, Anderson? I read you. Have you had our frequency this entire time? Eavesdropping is a big part of the job. But no, I got it from your partner. Anderson, look for a fuse to replace the blown out one in the fuse box. That should get the power going again. Yeah, on it. Hey, Anderson. Like what I've done with the place? Hmm. Could use a bit more glide. <sighs> Funny. How are you holding up? Ah, don't give me that worried look, Anderson. It's just a, it's a flesh wound. <laughs> Gave me a chance to have a, a nice chat about ex-wives with uh, Kieran. Uh, Agent Estevez, I mean. Making new friends, huh? I'm jealous. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What's the situation on your end? Watery turned out to be a good lead. Found the clicker and the cult. But the horror story's changing reality. Like Wake said it would. Logan, she's, uh... The story claims she died here. But we can stop it. Wait, Saga. What are you, um... Logan is gone. She has been. For a long time. Casey's affected by the horror story, too. I'm fighting for them all now. What happened at the hotel? Wake was telling the truth about the cult being after him. The thing, the dark presence, it's real too. I saw it, a fucked up monster cloud. Wake tried to warn me, it knocked me out. FBC found me in the woods later. I'm gonna fix this, Casey. You, Logan, all of it. I just need to get the power back on first. Yeah, give him hell, Anderson. Just remember, some things in life can't be fixed with a light switch. As for the power problem, here. I found a fuse on those poor bastards there. I'll take care of it. Stay put, Casey. I'll let you know when it's safe. I'm not going anywhere. <clears throat>
Anderson. Good news, bad news. You can get to the cell block now, but the shaded hostels that were in there are on the loose. Thanks for the heads up. Situation is under control, Estevez. Coming back up. Copy. Anderson, over here, behind the counter. Got a little cramped in that closet. What's going on? 
We had a hell of a time avoiding those taken. Ended up back here. Anyway, I wanted to warn you that we have the Coscula brothers in the cells as well. They're the ringleaders of the cult of the tree. Don't let your guard down. Is the FBC sending any help? <sighs> we were the help. Well, us in the lake house. But we still have bureau gear specifically engineered to fight this threat. It's stored in the back lot. We were setting it up when the Taken interrupted us. We have light arrays, a containment cell, etc., etc. We are not out of this fight yet. What's at the lake house? It's a bureau research facility at Cauldron Lake set up to study the effects of this AWE. When I got into town, I went there for backup. The whole station is lost, taken by the shadow. Lost a lot of agents. Barely got out myself. Wish me luck. According to the luck and probability department, it's statistically bad luck to wish people good luck during a crisis. Thanks. An electrical lock system with no failsafe. Smart. Saga! Fucking FBI, FBC, you government fucks all fucking this up for us! Let us the fuck out! You're the leaders of the cult. You're not going anywhere. Wake will ruin everything. Get rid of him, Saga. You fucking shot me. Typical government stooge. Let me out so I can kill him, that fucker! You come to our town and act like you know what you're dealing with, but you have no fucking idea! Let us out! You can't stop it, none of you can. We can take care of this. Fuck. We've been preparing for this. Do you have it? Need to find the key. You wrote Logan into the story. You told me yourself from the dark place. Listen, Scratch is coming. He's, he's close. He's almost here. He's... My daughter is dead because of you. She's a child. What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm trying to fix this. I will fix this. I'll save everyone, but we're running out of time. I need the clicker. I have the clicker. You will fix this. You will save my daughter. Promise me. Yes, I promise. But we're out of time. Hurry! Don't fucking give it to him! He's a fucking monster, Saga! There it is. We've been waiting for you, motherfucker! I'm gonna fucking destroy you!
was pretending to be Wake. The plan is fucked. Estevez, come in. Scratch is here. How do I stop him? Bad news. The containment unit isn't prepped, but the light ring should affect him. How do I activate the lights? I can here. We use to find the three power cords first. Fuck. Please power the light ring. Got one. <laughs> Two more to go. Another core activated. Only one left. Doing great. I'll be back. What the fuck do we do now? Scratches wakes double. He tricked us. He almost got the clicker from me. The whole plan has gone out the window. How could we get this so wrong? Textbook boondoggle. You said it, Anderson. It's a shit show. So what's the plan? Scratch pretended to be Wake to trick us. He almost won me over. I should have trusted my gut. I had a bad feeling about him when we found him at the lake. When that insane monster cloud came at me in the woods, I saw a face inside it. Wakes. I think he was always a monster. Always scratch. The FBC usually handles stuff like this, right? Any thoughts? Hold up. You brought a paranatural object in here without telling me and then almost handed it over to a hostile entity? I didn't know if I could trust you. That was a mistake. So was believing Scratch. But it's not too late. I just need to understand more. <laughs> you got that right. Let's start acting like we're on the same side, yeah? Tell something is wrong. What's happening to Casey? I'm a goner. Swell. A shadow crawling under my skin. In my head. Call my ex. Tell her I'm sorry. Terminal case, Casey. Something is wrong with him. He's hurt worse than he says. He's scared. Wake escaped the dark place. Is it possible he's still there? The big apple in an ocean of darkness. Gone diving. Note from my editor. You're using the wrong tense. Trapped in a loop. My friends will meet him when I'm gone. Wake is still trapped in the dark place. Maybe he always was.
Scratch was pretending to be awake. Manipulating me. What does he want from me? No. I'm in control here. It's my mind place. He's powerful. Too powerful. Just his presence here makes me feel sick. Like a wave of terror through my head. I feel his single-minded drive to get the clicker. No. Wake is trapped in the dark place. He's been reaching out, communicating with me in the overlaps. So tell me what I'm missing. The FBC must know something. Good news, we have Bureau intel on all of this. Bad news, it's highly classified. Good news, consider yourself deputized into the Federal Bureau of Control. Here's a key to the cell where we keep the files. Happy reading. Okay. Um, thanks. Go team. The horror story is changing reality. It made it so my daughter died here, even though she's supposed to be back home in Virginia. Do you know if that's... Uh... AWEs are localized distortions of reality. The area outside town might not be affected. Sometimes they expand, sometimes they fizzle out. If we can make sure it's the latter, your kid might be fine. The whole thing is a nightmare. I can't let my family be torn apart. Having family isn't easy in this line of work. The late nights, travel, alternate realities threatening their existence. My ex-wife couldn't take it. Karen, you're better off without her. I know I am. You really don't remember Logan living in Virginia with me and David? Uh, I remember you and David having problems. You needed a break. You and Logan moved to Watery, and... And then, uh... Then, Logan... Well, that awful thing happened. After you came back to work, I thought you'd be the perfect partner for this case. If you were willing to return to the area. Okay. That's enough. I'm sorry about your brother, Elmo. Yuck was all heart. He always went along with my ideas, no matter how stupid they were. Always happy to help. I got carried away. I never think things through. It's my fault. I realize it's a bad time. But I need you to tell me everything about the cult of the tree. The cult is my craziest idea that ever worked. Look, what kind of a cult calls themselves a cult? Exactly. We protect Watery and Bright Falls. We're the good guys. A secret neighborhood watch. Well, that was the idea anyways. Look, we've always known about the horror inside the lake. When any Taken come out, we kill them. You don't turn people into Taken. You kill the ones who already have. You were trying to kill Alan Wake. Why? Nothing good has ever come out of Cauldron Lake. The nightmare that hit Bright Falls in 2010 was all because of his writing. And ever since then, pages of his stories are floating up from the lake, and monsters keep popping out. It's all him, Wake. And if we don't stop him, no one will. Wake's evil doppelganger scratches the threat we're facing. Not Wake and I will stop him. 
I've never heard of anyone called Scratch. How long has the cult been around for? Certain folks around here have always known about Cauldron Lake. Before us, it was the Torchbearers. And when I inherited the mission, I wanted to call it a cult. <laughs> it was genius. Just the name didn't have to work. Made people too scared to go into the woods at night. Business 101, fear is a great motivator. said the cult kills Taken. Is he telling the truth? Surplus deer masks by in bulk. We've got a floater, a Taken on the shore. Call the gang, Yako. We are going hunting. Cult of the tree. Keeping the town safe since 2013. Elmo is telling the truth about the cult. They really were fighting the Taken. We're on the same side. If the cult is killing Taken, then why did Nightingale turn into one? Private party, invitation only. Wrong time, wrong place. Time to go, Yako. A job half done isn't done at all. Nightingale became a Taken because the Bookers interrupted their ritual. I'm gonna deal with the situation, Elmo. But the town will need protection until we sort this out. I could use your help. Right. Right. I'll round up the gang. Whoever's left. We won't let these fucking monsters hurt any more of our people. We'll do my brother proud. Thank you, Elmo. Wake isn't the first person the Dark Presence disguised itself as. The lake is a gateway to the Dark Place. What the hell is a para-utilitarian? Scratch told me the clicker can be used to change the story. Does that match your understanding of this thing? Yeah, the light switch is a paranatural item, maybe even an object of power. We have verified reports that Alan Wake was in possession of it during the AWE here back in 2010. It definitely has power. We know that much. I can come up with a plan. I always do. The story is changing your memories. What you're remembering is fiction. Logan is alive. 
I'm not divorced. We never moved here. I remember the truth. No, no, no. Wake or Scratch, whoever that was, said the story could be used to attack us. We all need to question what's real. With that said, how do we know the story isn't giving you false hope? I can't convince them. I just need to change the story. So the call of the tree actually kills Taken. They were on our side, even if their methods are misguided and criminal. It looked right from where we were standing. Nothing's what it seems in this case. Too many stories contradicting each other. Too many versions of the truth. We have a lot of catching up to do after this thing is all over. Everything is different now. My family, me, the whole fucking world. I'll buy the coffee, Anderson. Partners to the end. This case is one for the books. I see what you did there. Wake told me the clicker would fix this. But Wake was actually Scratch. How can I trust anything he said? The artist must conclude his work. He rides a storm on your piece. Wake up and smell the danger. We told you already, kiddo. What Tom said about the light switch is true. Don't let the story confuse you. You need him to write the ending you want. The clicker can make that ending come true. But we don't have Wake. Everything we knew about the clicker was true. He wasn't lying. Wake is still in the dark place. How do I get him out? We live and breathe rock and roll. From the silence of screams, from the fever of dreams. The clicker can amp up other works of art, not just Tom's writing. Anything created with passion. The dark power of the lake will make it creep into reality. But if the holder of the clicker believes in the art, they can make it all come true in the flick of a switch. I can use the clicker without Wake. Only Wake's writing can change the horror story. But I can use the clicker to change something else. Like getting Wake out of the dark place. I just need to tell the others what to do and fix everything. For good. So we need Wake to fix the story, right? That hasn't changed. So here's what I have. Wake's still trapped in the dark place, under the lake. I think we can use the clicker to get him out. But first, we need a work of art. Something other than his story. And that'll get him here. I'm not filling out the paperwork for this one. I wouldn't know where to start. But I'm sold. Okay. Look, this feels like something that once we get the ball rolling, there's no turning back. You sure you have it all figured out? Not just yet. Give me a moment. Okay, Anderson. You let me know when you're ready.
Uh, I think you may be right. Might have been a mistake to come here. I know. I'm sorry. Hey, it's not your fault. We all knew what we were signing up for. presence had stopped me. I had seen the title page of another manuscript. Return. I didn't remember writing it, but it felt familiar. Important. I had to find it. was empty again. I needed a new draft back at the beginning, but closer to my goal. forgotten. I knew how this worked now. I could take control, no more surprises. What demons he wrestles with in the dark hours of the night. Together with our house band, the divine old gods of Asgard, we have created something very special. The song is called Herald of Darkness, but I like to call this next segment the story of the journey of Alan Wake, the musical. But instead of talking, we'll sing it!
From what I've gathered, you grew up nice and sheltered with mama's pretty stories and your own made up fury. And mama gave me a magic clicker. Well, yes, I think it's true and fair to say. Chilling thrillers of hard-boiled killers became bestsellers. It was all too much. I had to get away. And meets the eye I never meant for it to ruin my life that way Who'd you say you lived the jaded lie? Dark shades could never save the day So sad But true
I didn't see that coming. A vision? dark place am I trapped in here? Is this real? I cannot remember. There was a manuscript that held a key. A vicious cycle I must not surrender to. Echo seems to seek out again and again until I figure it out to bring this song to its end. And I thought this place couldn't get any stranger. Champion of flight, herald of darkness, lost in the It was all about me. This performance the Dark Place was putting on. But I had no control over it. I knew how utterly lost I was. The payphone was ringing again. The mystery caller was back at it. I had to find out more. Alan Wake? Do you know who I am? How the fuck could I? Whoa! There's that famous temper. Lucky thing I'm not a paparazzi. You keep jerking me around, refusing to tell me who you are. You remember? You... Oh, fuck me. 
Alan, 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 listen, listen. Uh, tell me, how much do you remember? Did you visit Parliament Tower? Did you find anything there? Yeah. Alice is in danger. Scratch is reaching out to her, and there, there's another manuscript. Not initiation, return. I saw the title page. I, I don't remember writing it. Return? Oh, man, this is what we're after. The Scratch can't have it. Our, our survival, the survival of the fucking cosmic everything depends on this. Come to me. Ocean View Hotel. I left my room key for you. It's right there on the payphone. Remember, the dark place works in lobes and rituals. If the waves keep pushing you away, you just need to find another way in. We go with the flow of this ocean. Catch you soon, brother. The Ocean View Hotel. A suspicious invitation to a shady meeting. Right on the money for the hard-boiled genre the whole city was built upon. Ocean View Hotel, my destination. A loop that delivered me back to the street. What did the mystery caller said? If the waves keep pushing you away, you just need to find another way in. With only dream logic to lead me to the hotel, I look to the neon signs for guidance. The sky bridge above was connected to the hotel. That could be my way in, if I could reach it. The story I was building was fragile, constantly under attack. There was no time to waste. The Dark Presence was only a step behind me.
dead tired. I just wanted it to be over. It was all my fault. I'd had this dark place in my head for so long. Sometimes I'd forget the pain was there. Like it was the way you were supposed to feel. I was not in a dark place. I was the dark place. The source of it all. The vessel. Me and the writer. We were the same. This place kept pushing me under. Getting into my head. Poisoning me with darkness. I had to find a way to escape before it was too late. Too late again.
could see the Ocean View Hotel. I was getting close. Tim Breaker, in case you don't remember again. I know, Tim. I'm remembering more now. It's good to hear, man. How's your search for Mr. Door going? It's not great. This dream we're in, putting a lot of roadblocks in my way. So you think this is a dream? I'm not ruling it out. You know, my dreams have always been incredibly vivid. They feel real until the second I wake up. You know, in dreams, I'm often someone else. A different person with a different name, living a different life in, in a different world. Alternate realities, maybe. But certain things don't change. Like door. The sketch you have does look like the door I know. The talk show host. All I know is the door has something to do with what's happening to me. And he knows that I know. He's like some sadistic mastermind torturing me.
have caught my eye. was empty except for the projector. More games. Was the film a message waiting to be played? There's a window in the floor, and a door in the ceiling. There's no knowing, am I standing still, or running, or kneeling? You're the one who's been calling me. Indeed. I'm Tom Zane. Welcome to the House of Zane. The poet. The diver. You look like me, how the hell- Or maybe, you look like me, you handsome devil. The diver was a beloved character I played in one of my films. I'm a filmmaker, a celebrated auteur. I need answers. Why is return so important? What, Al? You, you always get worked up like this. Come on, I'll fix you a drink. We're in this together. Two artists collaborating, remember? Crafting the keys to our escape. Your magnum opus return and its, its companion piece, my film. Sharing our, our life-altering visions, a, a melding of higher minds. Creaming up our transcendental work of art. Here, in this room. In this room, in this room, in this room, in this room, in this room.
It's returned, but because we returned. And that is how the magic happened. Enough of this bullshit. Alice is in danger. I need another murder site to go further. Back to Parliament Tower. Scratch is... Your wife is safe back in the real New York. But Scratch is reaching for her through an overlap. Return is the key to escaping the dark place. You need to get it before that freak does. <sighs> There's a murder site here in the hotel. Let the waves of your riding carry you there. If anyone asks, you were never here. Thomas Zane had ended our talk in what felt like a paranoid fit. I had what I needed from him. There was another murder site in the hotel to guide me further toward my escape. I had to write my way to it. Dia nagged at me. I could almost reach it. The word whispers from the police radio kept me awake at night. The word through the ether. A murder in the backdrop of a play featuring a murder cult. <laughs> How meta can you get? He said, looking knowingly at the camera. I could sense the cult of the word in this, and their leader, Mr. Scratch. Rumored to be Alan Wake, the writer who'd gone missing years before. The hotel was a perfect setting for a Casey story. I was on the right path. I would start at the entrance lobby. The entrance hall set the mood where everyone had come in. The victim, the murderer, the detective. An idea, clear as a vision, waited for me here. of the cult was cursed from the pre-show ritual on. The cult is an immersive theatrical experience. Uh-huh. You're gonna have to walk me through what that means. Immersive theater. A play where the audience can participate, spread across this hotel. The cult is a legend. The only written copy of the manuscript lost, the play is passed on as oral tradition between theater companies. Each company only performs it once. The play was said to have special power. You were like kids playing with a Ouija board. And when you call for the devil, he will come. The pre-show ritual, that's it. Set it up, start from the beginning.
couldn't get in. I was missing something. I couldn't add a new element from here. I'd have to go to the scene. The room at the end of the corridor was closed off. It felt significant. Something terrible would happen there. The prop room had been changed from room 104 to room 225. The troop were busy building their own wicker man, where they themselves would be sacrificed. Night 
I had to be at the scene, to see and understand it, in order to change it. needed to find the key. The ballroom would be the stage of a key scene in the play. Changing a plot element in a scene without being there was impossible. The cult in the play was called the Cult of the Tree. With their deer masks, they were the backwoods echo of the cult of the words urban horror.
had to be at the scene to see and understand it in order to change it. Layers upon layers. A play about a murder cult infiltrated by a real murder cult. Changing a plot element in a scene without being there was impossible.
couldn't add a new element from here. I'd have to go to the scene. This is where they gathered before the play. This is where it began. to be at the scene, to see and understand it, in order to change it. Changing a plot element in a scene without being there was impossible. I couldn't add a new element from here. I'd have to go to the scene.
vision, another idea. Hmm, why set up a play in a hotel? Why this hotel? Because the rent is cheap? No. The ocean view was perfect for this. It's said to be haunted. Dark stories about murder, death, suicide. Supposedly, an actual cult once performed an unspeakable ritual to summon something in the ballroom. Did we summon the same thing? Tapped into something horrifying? It seemed like it was part of the play, but it wasn't. Does that sound crazy? You don't want to ask me about crazy, kid. A haunted hotel, yes. That's a trope for a reason. Recognize my writer's room on the stage. I almost dreaded the ideas this would conjure up. What was, what was the I said you got here. What was the scene in this room? Well, this is what we call the writer's room. In the play, it's where the devil rewrites reality whilst God is asleep. The devil was our star role. I got a big time celebrity to play him, and he was method acting the role to perfection. He never broke character, always wore the coat mask. His name was scratched out on the posters. Mm -hmm. And who was this mystery celebrity? Let me guess. Alan Wake? I wish I could tell you. But turns out there were masks upon masks. Whoever he really was? Shit got weird when he was around. Some of the crew joked that we'd actually hired the devil to play himself. Mm, Mr. Scratch is the devil. He was born to play the role. I had to agree with Casey on that.
not my writing. This is Scratch mocking me. Presence of a new idea here. Tell Mr. Scratch, if that's who the actor playing the devil was, had stayed in the hotel. Asking around at reception who got me a room number. Hmm. 666. He had requested that room specifically. The devil had a sense of humor. Or he really didn't. It was funny either way. According to the director, the actor hadn't mingled with the rest of the cast. He had only come out for the play. And always in character.
I could sense his presence lingering in the room. I was about to have another killer idea. No, no, no. Let's talk about no, okay. Let's talk about the murder victim. The lady who was killed in the climax of the play. The leading lady. Oh, it was an honor to get to work with her. A grand dame for sure. She went back a long time. Kept insisting she had seen the long-lost original script of the play. She'd been with this mysterious writer, his muse. That was her role in the play. The muse. She was staying in room 108, where the murder happened. The set of the final scene, right. The devil comes, an unstoppable force crashing through the hotel through each scene, executed with devastating mastery. And all leading up to him, meeting his muse. It turns out he knew her. He had only joined the play to get to her. To murder her. The dark presence had come for me. Drawn to the story I was writing as it grew darker. This was the murder site. There was a record at the bottom of the bathtub, beneath the body. Somehow, it was important. Another step. Somehow, I was closer to home. Closer than ever before. It's you again. The FBI agent. Saga Anderson. I'm closer now. 
I could feel it. You helped me get closer to escaping. Wait. Are we right. still trapped? We have the clicker. We can figure it out. You know about the clicker. It can help us. I destroyed the dark presence with it last time. You can help. You can find it. You must find it. I can get it to you. I have to understand. Did you write the story? Alice is in danger. I have to stop Scratch. I have to find Return. I need to get back to my apartment. I'm writing a story to get through. Initiation. It's the only way. It's a story. You can do that. You can write out. It lasted only for a moment, like two planets passing in orbit. Saga Anderson was helping me, helping me go deeper, closer to escape. Somehow, I had to trust her. Parliament Tower. I had to get back to my apartment, my study. I had to find the manuscript of return. said the manuscript of return was the key to escaping. I had to get it before Scratch did. on my interpretation to change that which I observed. It was all a play. Shadows on the wall of the cave. An echo of the true events that happened somewhere else. Was I there to watch the shadows or was I a shadow too? In a performance set up for someone else. Scratch was closing in, gaining control. 
I couldn't let him escape the dark place. I had to keep him from Alice. Alice had turned the bathroom into a dark room. months after Alan died. I didn't leave the apartment. I was flattened by the confusion, the shock, the, the guilt, fear. I could barely get out of bed. Barry Wheeler started visiting. He even cooked me meals. I couldn't stand the guy when I first met him, but he's a better friend than I gave him credit for. And he still checks in. Even after he moved out west. Alice's work had consumed the apartment, her whole life. One morning, I saw a deer soar past my bedroom window. It was a, a balloon of some cartoon animal. And I looked out at the street below, and I saw a little girl crying. Like losing that balloon had just ended her whole world. It was the perfect image. The horror of caring. And that's when I got myself out of bed. And I picked up my camera.
there's something in the dark. Something I needed to see, to show. The more shadows I photographed and filmed, the more I felt like I was on the verge of a breakthrough. I submerged myself in it. I only went out at night. My search became obsessive, but I still had no idea what I was looking for. around the infinite and capture it. I need to prove those faces are really there. the dark presence escaping from the dark place, taking over Bright Falls. I couldn't remember writing it. I had not written it. I would never write this. I knew who had. Scratch. A monster with my face. If this story came true, Scratch would get out. People would die. Destroying the manuscript, it wouldn't stop it from happening. I would have to fix it. Edit it. I could not change the genre of the story. I'd have to work within the constraints set by Scratch. I needed someone in the story to fight the darkness. Saga Anderson. I kept seeing her in my visions. She was already in Bright Falls, already involved, but she was not in return. Not yet. I'd write her in, try to stop Scratch within the limits of the horror story. It was almost impossible. It was taking too long. I had not reached the end. escaping from the dark place, taking over Bright Falls. I couldn't remember writing it. I had not written it. I would never write this. I knew who had. Scratch. A monster with my face. If this story came true, Scratch would get out. People would die. Destroying the manuscript, it wouldn't stop it from happening. I would have to fix it. Edit it. I could not change the genre of the story. I'd have to work within the constraints set by Scratch. I needed someone in the story to fight the darkness. Saga Anderson. I kept seeing her in my visions. She was already in Bright Falls, already involved, but she was not in return. Not yet. I'd write her in, try to stop Scratch within the limits of the horror story. It was almost impossible. It was taking too long. I had not reached the end. before I could finish my edits to the manuscript.
The memory of my edits was already fading. Terrible things would happen if the manuscript came true. Scratch was there, at Parliament Tower, undoing my work. He could use the story to escape. He could go after Alice. Zane had said we worked on Return together. That was a lie. Scratch wrote Return. I would pay Zane another visit. He had guided me to two murder sites. I needed a new one to get back to Parliament Tower. A new draft of initiation. I don't have time for this, so let's get it over with. Tell me, was this all fake? A show? No one said otherwise, Mr. Wake. It was to indulge you, but we can stop pretending now. Uh, masks come off. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I don't even think you know who's under your mask, but you know how to make things difficult for yourself. All these rules, endless, convoluted loops you insist on going through. You are so lucky, you know. There are so many people helping you. Armies of people. Myself. Your wife. Alice. I need to get to her. She's in danger. She is. Because of you. And so is someone important to me, someone you pulled into this. You keep opening doors, peeking in, reaching through to get what you want, and that puts you in my path. I don't know what you're talking about. I have to go now. Maybe you will make it through this time. This has gone on long enough. This and our night springs, it was a nice distraction. It's time someone gave me a straight answer here. The next time we meet, the circumstances will be very different. And you would do well to return the favor by playing your part. Or stay out of my way, Mr. Wake. Whatever you say. Door, Zane, the masks were finally coming off. Was it a sign I was closer to escaping? I had no time to waste. Oh, my love, that helped you close, Tom. 
Ei muuta kuin on, vaan se, että krani in the snow. Mentä pärikis pikist, ja helppis olsoudien. Thor didn't seem happy to see me this time. Hearing the master is the root of wisdom. But don't let the game get you down. He's playing his role. Maybe put him in your film, Tom. Like you have put me. <laughs> what films? <laughs> I'm a fan of your masterworks. Uh, there is Tom the Poet, my favorite. And Uerden Uer is the most famous one, of course. And is it true what I hear? That it's coming back to cinema soon? Is there a bottom to this rumor? I need to get back to my apartment. Can you help me? Well, plan is half done. You asked me to make sure you won't forget the... Uh, the... Mikä se valokuva oli? The light pictures. The photos you artist wife took. Uh, they are waiting in the shoe box in the basement. What you leave behind, you find in front of you. Okay. Thanks, Adi. Ai, 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 I'm looking forward to seeing Uyöten Yö in the cinema. But first, I work. And the work won't end even when you do it, Perkele. No, ei siinä. One potato at a time. I think you may be right. Might have been a mistake to come here. I don't think Marcy's coming back. Fuck, Riley. This is so messed up. Ready to go? I'm ready to head to Cauldron Lake now. Let's get the plan started. Okay, here we go. We'll be there for you. What do you need from us? I'll head to Cauldron Lake with the clicker. Scratch, we'll try to get you, Anderson. You'll need backup. I can tell there's no talking you out of coming, Casey. 
Estevez, is there a way to get that light array to the lake? Oh, I've got you covered, so good news there. And we'll bring our mobile containment unit. It's specially built for entities like Scratch. And this work of art, Anderson, what's the plan for that? I'll make some calls on the way. Just meet me at Cauldron Lake. Alex. Tor, It'll be easier I need the old those. gods of Asgard. We'll have water for I need working. a very special song. I like the sound Hell of that. Yeah! The tour bus is already loaded, and we've said our goodbyes. Ready to hit the road, just like the old times, baby. You saw this coming, huh? Of course. I need a song about Alan Wake, about bringing him out of the dark place. A writer. A lake of darkness, bringing him into the light. <laughs> it writes itself. I hope they've still got it. I'm running out of time. Must be torn Odin. Maybe I should check in. Get out! We're almost at the gig! And Odin's run over four minions of darkness! <laughs> the bus is our hammer! I'm driving with one hand! I need you to meet me at the shore. Is the song ready? Almost! Odin's got a killer chorus! Come save your soul, awake new and whole. By name I will summon him. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. It's an ocean summoning. Three! 
tree, there's no tree in the Drive carefully, Grandpa. Metal to the metal, bro! Metal to the metal! Yeah! <laughs> Very rock and roll way to drive. to this. Another cult box. There's a rhyme over here. Yes, 
Testing. Testing. Gonna need Crank more reverb. I'm getting no bounce out here. <clears throat> We were in a hurry. The power supply is spotty. Your partner here will try to keep it running. But I, I'm not a damn mechanic. I wish your tech guy was here, Kieran. We'll play this at maximum volume. Grandpa. You signal me when the song is done, and I'll use the clicker to bring Wake back. Hit it! Hello, Cauldron Wake! Great to see so many federal agents here tonight. Prepare to experience a soul searing mind frying act of black magic and sorcery! This storm goes out to our favorite tortured writer. Let these sweet tunes guide you out of the darkness. It's called Dark Ocean Summer Name. Hey, you're making me look bad in front of Saga, bro. <laughs> uh, let's try that again. <laughs>
Why didn't it work? I did everything right. Art to bring him back? Clicker to make it real? So where the fuck is he? We did bring Wake back from the dark place, with a song and the clicker. But he didn't end up here now. He landed on the shore after I faced Nightingale in the overlap. to be wake. They're the same person. He's here! Scratch! Watch out, Anderson! Estevez, Scratch is wake with the dark presence inside him. He wants the clicker. Change of plan. I'll lure him to the cell. When we're inside, lock it and blast it with all you got.
Wait. Is it you? I'm so sorry. Did it work? Welcome back, Wake. You are awake now, right? With the shadow out of you? Some good news, at least. Bad news is, I haven't seen a situation this fucked since the AWE in Eagle River. The shadow's now in Alex, and Anderson is gone. We need to figure out how to salvage this. I'll do anything it takes to fix this, Agent Estevez. I'm the reason this is all happening. Never that simple. But I should have put you in a box and shipped you off to a containment facility the second I laid eyes on you. The only question now is... Are you able to fix this? I could try. Not the most encouraging answer, but we'll make it work. Scratch. The dark presence inside Casey. It threw Saga into the lake. If she ends up in the dark place, she could be there forever. It took me 13 years to get out. Zane never did. Tor and Odin went in after her, right? Maybe they'll get her out. With the power of rock and roll. I saw them when I was trapped there. They performed in my musical. I'm immediately less optimistic about this. What's the situation? I've never seen an entity break a bureau containment unit like that. And now the Dark Presence is occupying Agent Casey? When it attacked him in the woods, it must have been preparing for this. And now he has the clicker. Scratch will go to Bright Falls and use the clicker to bring about the horrific ending he wrote for Return. But I can still fix this. How? Scratch must have the manuscript. If I can read the ending, I can rewrite it. I need to go after him. Well, it won't get very far without these. This plan is a real Hail Mary wake. I wish I could help. This is all on you. I got you every kind of weapon we have available. Don't fuck it up.
was awake again, clear-headed for the first time in what felt like a lifetime. I was back exactly where I left, a dark forest outside Bright Falls, a gun in one hand, a flashlight in the other, haunted by my own writing. Alice, take it from me. I knew what I had to do. Stop the horror story from coming true. Stop the dark presence.
In the dark place, the dark presence went into me. When I was pulled back here, crossing over and weakened it, made it dormant. I couldn't remember what had happened, but I could feel it, getting stronger, waking up. I thought it was haunting me, closing in. It was inside me the whole time, and then it took over. It turned me into scratch. Saga Anderson into the this story to help me escape. She succeeded. It cost her everything. I'd used Alex Casey in my writing for years. The real Casey had been drawn here because of that. Now he was a victim too. Saga, Casey, Alice, all this horror originates from me. It's my fault. Scratch had to be stopped. I've driven down this road before been driving on it forever. If Scratch had brought the dark place here, this would take me back inside. In 2010, I had dived in, a leap of faith for Alice, with no idea that the cost would be a nightmare worse than death. taken me 13 years to get out. Now Alice was dead because of me. And I was going to make that leap again, this time knowing the cost all too well. Another way to look at it? I had brought the dark place here with me. I never had gotten out. Maybe after this, I finally could. It was a fool's hope. I had no choice. I had to do it. That didn't make me any less terrified. Expected. The stage fight scene in Departure is one up by the absolutely mind frying Dark Ocean Summoning. Alan Wake's latest novel, Return, is breaking every literary record in existence. It's the great American novel. I'm Ilma Koskova, and welcome to the Koskova Brothers Book Club. This week, we will review the highly anticipated new novel by Alan Wick, Return. Return is printed on a firm, high-quality, white offset, uncoated paper stock, making every page a true delight to turn in your fingertips. 
Alan Wake's brilliance is on full display with his choice of a hardcover book jacket made of a premium enamel stock with gloss lamination that is both tasteful and pleasant to the touch. Isn't that right? Wake set a high standard with his previous novels, but I can say without hesitation that Return contains the best and most compelling book description on a back cover that I have ever read. This book blurb is truly riveting and will keep you on the edge of your seat from start to finish. It is accompanied by a tasteful photograph of Alan Wake's home here in Bright Falls. The book weighs one pound and three ounces. Return is a true masterpiece. I'll give it a perfect score of five Alma beers out of five. How about you? There you have it. Alan Wake has done it again. This was the Costco Brothers Book Club. Cheers. of return. I needed to read the ending to have a shot at changing it. I was inside Scratch's ending, a perverse version of reality. The townspeople brainwashed. Everyone and everything revolved around return, as if it had just been published. A spellbinding tour de force. as a murder mystery that pulls the rug out from under and turns into an all-out supernatural room in the photo. That's where I had to go. To rewrite the ending of Return. Sick, sick story. Oh, room to stop this horror story. This was an obsessive, egocentric nightmare, all revolving around a vain monster of a writer and his final divine work of art. The novel returned come true. It wouldn't stop here. It would keep spreading. another way inside. Alice? What was that? Alice was dead. Was this a trap? Or was Scratch torturing me?
Very pushy. Rose, right? From the diner. How are you here? <laughs> I'm here to save you, silly. I got your instructions. I found every hidden message you left for me. In the radio, in the wind, in the forums on my Alan Wake fan site. What? No, Rose, I haven't been leaving you any messages. Oh, I get it. Yes, Alan, only a crazy person would think you've been leaving them secret messages. <laughs> Wink. But now you need to get your butt upstairs, Alan. This shit won't write itself, no matter what William Shakespeare said. Right. Thank you, Rose. I'll do what I can. Upstairs. The writer's room must be in the attic. That's where the windows were. We loop around and come to Ketertom. I have put everything ready for the visitors. I'll come to wash the floor of your room next. All you need is water and fill it up. Water is the oldest bulb. Water finds its way. What water brings, it takes away. It can be clean or dirty. It can keep life or drown it. Akti, I didn't expect to see you here, but it makes sense. Can you help me find my way? One last time. Mm, now there's a devil in the fish trap. Don't be spooked by it so that shit won't start beating your underpants. Okay, I'll get the door open for you, Tom. There you go. The matter is a stake. Now comes the end of the rhyme. Thank you, Ahti. here. I needed to write the ending. I only had one chance to get this right. Return's ending was an eternal deer fest that would keep spreading. Given time, Scratch would plunge the world into his nightmare. I had to stop that from happening. I had to write one more chapter for return. I needed an ending that took everything already in return and extended it into a conclusion that would save us. Only the perfect ending would work. A perfect ending that would save us all. I was the only one who could write it. Everything depended on this. On me. Any second now, Scratch would burst through that door to stop me. Every plot thread dangled in my brain. It suddenly felt impossible. Something stirred in the room, coming to me. An idea. He has to 
fit the genre if it's going to work. The ending has to fit the genre if it's going to work. In a horror story, there's only victims and monsters. If there is Aero, they will ultimately pay a heavy price. I won't let the horror story take Logan and KC. They were dragged into this. They need to survive. Non-negotiable. Not just them. We need to try to save everyone. The ending will have to be dark no matter what. The more people we save, the greater the cost. And the hero must pay the price. The scales always need to balance. Something felt different. I'd never seen myself in a vision before, but it fit. Saga and I were both at the center of this story. She was now my co-author. This was the beginning of the end. We were characters in a horror story, charging blindly towards the finale. We still didn't have everything we needed. This would not work without the clicker. To get to Parliament Tower, I needed to find a murder site. Zane would know where to find one. something together. I was going to get the truth out of Zane with whatever means necessary. Zane's room, 665, was upstairs.
Something told me Zane wouldn't be happy to see me this time. I'm in control now. The second you try anything, I will shoot you in the head! Scratch wrote return, not me. You're a fucking liar. You'd given up. You stopped writing. You said it was too dangerous, that, that we didn't deserve to get out. And then he showed up. Scratch, he promised to write, to get me the hell out of here. He was magnificent. A visionary. Turn and left me behind. It's still here, and so is he. I know I fucked up. But you can still catch him before he gets out, before he gets to your wife. And when you get to him, don't hesitate. Kill the bastard for what he did to us. There's a murder site in my cinema where my film Nightless Night is playing. I told you not to try anything! to find the movie theater Poets Cinema. The next murder site was there. Zane had created the film in tandem with Return to escape the dark place. Searchlight beams of the movie theater on the far side of the plaza.
The cinema lobby was a gateway to other realities on the silver screen. I could set a scene here. surface from the dark with their depraved acts of violence and fade back into the night, leaving behind bloody crime scenes and clues heavy with obscure meanings that led nowhere. Arriving at the cinema, I felt a monumental, terrifying revelation trembling before me, ready to open its jaws and swallow me whole. This place had significance to the cult. There was something to use there. first step toward the murder site, I was making progress. Did I stop writing at some point? I can't stop. There's too much at stake. Someone had barricaded themselves in the room. I was missing something.
It will just do you a lot of good to talk, buddy. <laughs> it was an initiation ceremony. And so we made our new members believe. Two of New York's finest. They had performed endless favors to earn their place among us. We had something special waiting for them. And something very special for you, Alex Casey. Who's your leader? Alan Wake? Hmm? Scratch? Zane? Give me a name! <laughs> you will meet him soon enough. There was no end to the corruption. It fit the genre, so I'd use it. Someone had barricaded themselves in the room. missing something.
pretending to be a secret society. Maybe it is you who's playing a role, Mr. Casey. A role carefully laid out for you. A puppet blindly performing the ritual steps for the glory of the cult. Huh? What the fuck have you been smoking? Nightless night. A clip of the lost film survived. You will see, Mr. Casey. In the nightless night, you will finally see. What? Nightless Night was Zane's film. It played a role in this story. Alan Wake. star coming to America from Finland, but he only created one film, Tom the Poet, before he went missing, mirroring the vanishing of the main character in the movie, played by himself. The biggest mystery was around his lost film and early work made in Finland, Nightless Night, rumored to some claimed it was a snuff film, that the ritual murder in the film was an actual murder. There were no known surviving copies, but chased it as if it were their unholy grail, just like Wake's books were.
playing me in his film? Zane's lamp on the screen. The light of the lamp shone out of the screen and revealed the door. Good scene for dark deeds. I could figure this out on the plot board. Someone had fallen to their death from the rooftop.
This initiation, do you? Nah. I'm sure we'll just chant some ceremonial stuff. N nothing to it. Well, it's about time. We paid our dues. Made plenty of their problems disappear. Dumped all those nobodies down that chute. What we did or didn't do, it's all behind us now. We're going straight to the top, partner. Yep, like we died and went to heaven. Mr. Casey, 
I'm all yours. Go ahead. Ask that burning question in your mind. How did you do it? How did you get me into that film clip without my remembering it? Talk to me, damn it! You've seen the film? Good, good. Now you're ready to meet the Grand Master. He's waiting for you in the projection booth where everything will be revealed. Where he will project a new reality onto this one. And now, Mr. Casey, I've played my part to the end. No, no, no! Crazy bastard! Why'd he jump? The projection booth. Was that where I find the murder site?
straight to the top. The dirty cops look down the city. The
a city trapped in eternal night. They watch the film where the night never arrives, where the night hides in your mind.
found myself in a maze of film equipment. There had to be a way to the projection booth from here. I wasn't alone. I'm here, you son of a bitch! Show yourself! The grand master of my ass! You're a clown in a mask! I was back where I started. A loop within a loop. I had to keep going. I'm here, you son of a bitch! Show yourself! Who, who was that? Who said that? The Grand Master of my ass. You're a clown in a mask. I'm not the one wearing a mask here, you moron! Casey in the story was losing it. I wasn't far behind. way to the murder site. I'm here, you son of a bitch. Hey! Show yourself! It's gone. Who was that? Who said that? But That's I saw some real clever trick, asshole. You can run, but you can't hide. The grand master of my ass. You're a clown in a mask. I'm not the one wearing a mask here, you moron. Why don't you come here and say that to my face, buddy? Then we'll see who's the moron. going. Find a way to the murder site. to open the way. Oh, no. Oh, no, you don't. You... What the fuck? I was 
getting close. makes any sense is in your psychotic brain. As a fictional character in the story, you fulfilled your purpose. You brought the writer of the story here. You can go now, Casey. No, 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 I'm not going anywhere before I get some answers. How was I in that movie? How, why does all this feel so familiar? What, who the fuck are you? Who the fuck am I? No! Welcome to you, Alan Wake. What the hell? This is the ritual to lead you on. We are just one step away from your final destination, Mr. Wake. But first, here is an unanswered mystery for you. If Casey was fictional, and you assumed his role as the detective, are you now fictional too? Whose story are you living, Mr. Wake? The visions were getting under my skin, coming too close for comfort. Not a separate layer, but mingling with my own reality in the dark place. Wait. Dead end. This can't be right. Did I miss something? Traveling deeper into the dark place, the poem on the wall was growing at the same pace, dogging my footsteps, like my unwanted shadow moving in the corner of my eye. It wasn't my writing. I didn't know what it was. A terrible prophecy. A curse. Looming over me. Anderson, listen. I, I've been tricked. Scratch wrote returned. I, I tried to fix the story, but he stopped me before I reached the end. He has it now. It's the key to escape. What do you mean, escape? You mean with Scratch? I need to stop him. I need to stop him before he gets out. He's after Alice. I'm still trapped, but I'm making progress. I wrote you in to be the story's hero. Scratch made a horror story. I need to match the genre. It has to be dark, but the hero can break through, save her family, save us all. Save her family? Are you talking about my family? Yes. Whatever you're doing, it's working. You just need to keep going. Did we have family in the horror story? Closer now. Closer than ever before. But there was no time to lose. Everything was hanging in the balance. I could still lose it all. Parliament Tower. I had to make it work this time. 
I could stop Scratch, get the manuscript, fix its ending. Onko täällä ketään? Ahti. <tos> Sanovat, se joka varjoon tyytyy, valon ihmeestä paitsi jää. <tos> Minulla 
oli sinua ikävä. Olit Veikon kanssa. Siksi lähdin. Hän on poissa. Ollut jo kauan. Kun nyt lähde, lähde kanssani. Mutta vasta tämän yön jälkeen. Ja huus ja sopertelijät. Arvo, arvo, rakkas veli Anna, arvo, pakkualeen. En saatan. Kato. Tuuhlaajapujan paluu. Ja häntä kuipien välis. <tuhu> Tuliko hakemaan anteeksi antaa? Uutiset mistään paluusta ovat ennenaikaisia. Tulin vain käymään. Ja nyt kun muistan millaista tämä touhu täällä on. En viivy kauaa. Missä veljesi luuraa? Pisti hengiltä. Rupes käymään aivoa se aina länkytys. Uhrilla ja mestarilla. Mutta ei se paska veli kelvon edes siihen. Sä olit mestarin valittu. Vaikka mä koskaan ymmärtänyt, että miksi. Miksi palasit? Kun kerran lähdit? En aikonut. Mutta nyt löydän itseni täältä. Nyt on kai kirottu. Kirjoitettu sadistisen kirjailijan tarina. Kierän kehää. Maa on syklinen laulu. Miten siellä valtion kontrollivirastossa menee? Väärä virasto. En ole siellä töissä. Sitä paitsi. Sain potkut. Ei olisi tarvetta talonmiehen apulaiselle. Ei ole. Tämän tilan isäntä katosi yön selkää vuosia sitten. Sen jälkeen kun sinä lähdit. Merkit on ilmassa, että multakin loppuu hommat pian. Siksi kyselen virastosta. Me ehkä saan sieltä töitä.
Sanotaan, että Aleen kurkotti liian pitkälle yön syövereihin. Eikä löytänyt sieltä enää pois. Kannattaa varaa sitä Aleenin mustaa leskeä. Taisit olla vähän heikkona häneen. Pelkäsin häntä. Me pojat oltiin aina vähän toivottomia naisten kanssa. Vie sinut tuon puoleiseen. Hän palaa. Ja sinut lukitaan huoneessa. Kehä. Tämä on spiraali. Ai 
of this nightmare, but I damn well try. This case would never be closed. I had more questions now than at the start. The irony of being trapped in a postmodern detective story. I felt watched. The eyes of some unseen audience on me. I wanted to turn to the hidden camera and tell them to fuck off. But I didn't know where to look to break the fourth wall. There would always be another case for Casey. A million stories in this dark city. The night opened up to welcome me to her arms. Roll credits. No love. Too stubborn to die. Like a cockroach with a misguided sense of honor and justice in a city where there can never be justice. tower. It was back. The phone was ringing again. Somehow I sensed it wasn't Zane this time.
Hello? Hello. It wasn't Zane. It wasn't Scratch, either. Huh? You're me? Me? I don't understand. There's a lot I don't understand. A dark place operates in loops. Time is a story. I'm calling you from a different point in that story. From the future? I'm never getting out of here, am I? Yes, you will. And no, you won't. And that is by your own choice. What does that mean? I'm sorry for what you'll have to go through. You need to go back to the talk show studio basement. Get Alice's photos from a shoebox there. Before you can go to Parliament Tower, you must put the photos into the shoebox at her statue at the plaza. To help you, to help Alice, to help Saga Anderson. I'm my own deus ex machina? Really? How many writers does it take to finish a story? One for each draft. It's the same writer, but in a different point in time. I'd follow the steps he laid out for me. Alice's photo from the talk show building basement. I had to go back to get them. I'd bring the photos to the shoebox by the statue. Closed. No. The building was condemned. Closed up. Something was wrong. Something was missing. I had to get inside. Alice's photos. I recognized the style. One showed the clicker sinking into darkness. The other showed a light in the shape of a bullet. I need to get them to the plaza.
had the photos now. I needed to put them into the shoebox by the statue. I'd been here many times before. I didn't know how many. This felt different, like my last chance. It wasn't already too late. horror story. There was still time to stop him. I needed to get inside. So much rage inside of him, I can't stand it anymore. God, I tried so hard. I can't. I can't. decision. Most of you won't understand. People call me an artist, but I don't care about any of that. I just wanted to show the world what I see. I can't keep going like I have been. It's time for a perspective shift. To go from photographer to subject. From artist to art.
watch tortured her until she couldn't stand it anymore. Until she broke. And all that time, she thought it was me. Scratch was still here. He hadn't escaped the dark place yet. He was scratching my edits out of return. I had seen this before. This was not Scratch. This was me. Caught in a loop. I had stopped myself trying to fix the manuscript. I was the one haunting Alice. It was always me. I killed her. What's going on? Am I in the field office? No. It's the mine place. I can't sense anyone. My work, it's all gone. What the hell is happening? Where is everything? leave. Why can't I leave? Nothing's working. I can't think straight. The Dark Presence took over Casey, stole the clicker from me. The last thing I remember is him throwing me into Colgen Lake. I'm in the dark place. I'm lost. I don't know how to get out. I don't know what to do. That wasn't me. Was it? What? Failed who? What's happening to the case board? says I failed them. Who's them? I let everyone down. Logan, Casey, myself. This is my fault. My daughter is dead. My partner was taken over by a monster. I'm trapped in a dark place. Powerless. I'm not powerless. What is happening here? This isn't me. Casey. Casey depended on me, and I let him down. I wasn't watching his back. I got wrapped up chasing the wrong lead. He needed me. Now he's turned into a monster. He needed me. Logan. 
I neglected my family for my job. I was too thrilled by the cases. The mysteries. I liked how dangerous the work was. And now that danger has destroyed my family. It killed my daughter. No. I am a terrible mother. I let my daughter die. Deciding what I get to do, how I get to do it. He took my daughter from me. I'll never be free of this story from him. He used her. She's not dead. God damn it. Done with this. It just keeps coming back. Something's very fucking wrong here. I hate you. He was being corrupted, and I did nothing. Scratch was wake. How could I miss that? Wait, Mom, help. 
Why is this happening? What? There is no way out. I never should have trusted these. Night Springs. Logan and David love that show. Their weekly ritual. This case, this room, is any of it even real? Wait, what? What is this? Feels like I'm trapped in a nightmare. Stuck in an echo chamber with all my fears, my doubts, my insecurities. Please, Mom, help. Nope, nope, nope. It was so obvious the Koskala brothers were behind the cult. The cult was just the beginning of the spiral. Logan. The horror story used her. I've had with you cultist maniacs! I never should have left Casey at the hotel by himself. spent too much time away from Logan. What? No. What's happening to me? What the hell? I 
I hate this, but it's all true. I had tried to silence these thoughts, focus on the case, but I can't escape them anymore. I'm drowning. I need a way out before I'm dragged under. No. There has to be a way out. I need a way out. Oh god. None of this is real. I've lost it. I'm not even here. The mind place isn't real. A case about supernatural darkness. I'm having a full-on psychotic break. I drag Logan away to a tin can in watery. She's dead because of me. There has to be a way out. I need a way out. It's over. There's no point trying. Everything is lost. There's no way out. No way to fix this. There's no way out. I'm stuck here forever. Just me and my past. My guilt. My mistakes. I'm not getting anywhere. I'm stuck. But this is my mind place. My mind. Everything I need is here. It, it has to be. Giving up. Focus, Saga. The answers I need are here somewhere. I just have to look. Scratch was too much for us. I should have made KC stay behind. My badge. Never should have taken this case. He was hurt. I should have been watching his back. Anderson, uh, look, 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 after Brand left, it was, uh, well, 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 I was in a, was in a bad, bad place. place. You dragged me, dragged me to those dinners at your, your house, house with your family. With your family. <laughs> It really, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. meant a lot, a lot, a lot. Thank you. Thank you. No, I'm not reading anymore.
Thank you. Thank you. While our agency While our must continue, continue to improve, the work we do here, protecting, protecting communities, communities, pursuing the truth, the truth. It's, it's the most the important, important work there is. Whiskey, whiskey. Our job is dangerous. Casey himself told me that. It's no one's fault. It's fault! It is, it is! I can't let this place make me question myself. I know what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. Shit. I can't do this. Logan isn't anyone's plot device. She's my daughter. And she's not dead. Dead! It's not too late. I can still save them. No matter what I do, someone will get hurt. I don't know what to do. I'm afraid. I'm my own worst enemy. The fears in my head are stopping me from trying. From leaving. Fuck, no! I'm not a perfect mom, but I'm doing my best. Logan was just being nice when she gave me that mug. I never deserved her. God. It's okay to be afraid, but I can't let this end here. I can't, I can't, I can't. I just, I just want it to stop. Giving up won't make this stop. Logan needs me. Casey needs me. God damn it! I've made mistakes. I'll make more. But I can do better. And I can start by leaving this room. I'm afraid... It will hurt. But nothing will hurt more than not trying to save them. It will hurt. But I will fight. Shit! The Dark Place tried to trap me here. The only way to leave is facing it head on. Wake called it a nightmare. I need to dive into that nightmare and find a way back home.
My first ever prank on Casey. A true classic. Ten remaining. Miss you, kiddo. I'll be home soon. phone was ringing. Somehow I knew the call was for me. Agent Anderson. Is that really you? Sorry, this place likes to play tricks. Sheriff Breaker? What happened to you? How did you end up in the dark place? I was brought here. Snatched away from the morgue by a man named Orlin Dorr. Been trying to piece it together for... Well, it feels like a long time now.
I need to get to Parliament Tower Plaza. Do you have any idea where it is? This place, it's like trying to find your way around in a dream. I've been trying to map it, but it keeps looping, shifting. Like, there are many versions stacked on top of each other. There is a page. Describes Dor finding his way through this place. I tried to follow the steps, but... No luck. Can I see that page, Tim? Of course. In fact, it's the page I tried to give you back in the morgue in Bright Falls. Huh. Now that I think about it, maybe Dor brought me here to keep you from reading it. Here. I'm gonna keep looking for Dor. The closer I get, the closer I feel to waking up. I need to find the man behind the curtain. Warling Dor walked across the rain-slick tiles of Caldera Street Plaza. He stopped at the door to the construction yard. A poster for his talk show hung there. He stepped through, willing it to take him to Parliament Tower Plaza. I know what I need to do. Who is this door person? He's here. Somewhere. I've been seeing his face in my dreams for years. <laughs> this whole thing is insane. But he is much more than he seems. He's connected to all of this. I've seen a page about Warlandor. Who is he? A door that stands between two rooms is in both. A door that can lead anywhere is everywhere. That door is the center. He governs the currents of reality. With all the powers mixed up in this, it's hard to know who's playing who. Opening too many doors. <laughs> this isn't important right now. I can look into it later. The page describes him moving through the door. How can I do that? The dark place has many faces, and many names. It is a mirror, reflecting all possible realities. The family of doors have the power to shift between these realities. Here, and elsewhere. If I can find a way to navigate through this nightmare... Maybe I can find a way to get back home. Warland Dor walked across the rain-slick tiles of Caldera Street Plaza. The rain... I made it. I need to get up to the street and find that statue. You let me drown! You pushed me! Enough already! There's the shoebox, the clicker, and some kind of bullet, shining with light. How did the clicker get here from Washington?
phone again. you know the clicker would be there? This is important. Alan's lost. He doesn't have the ending. He needs your help to finish the story. How am I supposed to help him from here? Okay. I'm in the dark place. Wake is in Washington. I could talk to him and... My mind place. I've reached out to you like this before. But I understand more about it now. You see a visions too. I used to think they were ideas, inspiration, but they're real. Just like this now. I try to use them to make the story come true. So this is coming from both of us. Maybe that's how we could communicate in the overlaps. We could use this to stop Scratch. First, I need the ending. So there's a problem with the ending? I don't have the ending. It has to be perfect, but I don't have time to figure it out. I don't know what to do. Fuck. I'm so sorry. This whole thing is a fucking mess. I agree. But we can still figure this out. And what exactly does perfect mean? The elements of the ending need to come from the story's pre-existing parts. To make matters worse, this is a horror story. You don't need to tell me this is a horror story. Right. The ending has to fit the genre if it's going to work. In a horror story, they're only victims and monsters. There must be a way to bring a hero into the story. If there is a hero, they will ultimately pay a heavy price. So the ending has to be earned, set up by the story. You can't build a case without supporting evidence. That's the only way to make it stick. I can't let the horror story take Logan and Casey. They were dragged into this. They need to survive. Non-negotiable. Not just them. We need to try to save everyone. I have an idea how to help Casey. He's a real person who I twisted into a character. He isn't my creation, so he isn't a suitable host for the Dark Presence. 
I can write that into the ending to drive that fucking thing out of him. Well, if the ending has to fit the story, this is how I see it. Return is a story about a story that comes true. And I'm a character in the story. Not just a character. The hero. Okay, a hero. <laughs> in any case, I've been through hell to be here. And this is my life. It feels earned to me that I rise above the story and be there to create the ending. Yes. That's what we're doing. Here, now. We're figuring out the ending I need to write. This isn't Scratch's ending. But this isn't your ending either. This is our ending. You aren't the only one deciding these things anymore. You're right. I can't do this alone. Every time I write, things only get worse. You beat this thing back in 2010, Alan. And here you are doing the same again. You're a hero too. We're in this together. Then let's bring it home. The ending will have to be dark, no matter what. The more people we save, the greater the cost. And the hero must pay the price. One of the heroes. The scales always need to balance. <sighs> Fuck it. Let's go with this. Are you sure? There's no time for anything better. Scratch could be here any second. Then that's our ending. I have the clicker. I'll find a way to get it to you. And I'll get the pages down. See you on the other side. The ending we talked about. I have the clicker and the bullet of light. Let's do this. I have to be the one to do it. I feel like I've always been on this journey. Okay. It must end here, this darkness. What lies under the surface now shifts. A play of shadows catching my eye, thrusting my face into the water. He's here. It's shockingly cold. Past the mirror of the surface. before burned away by this terrible realization. Maybe it's a mercy, forgetting, to know nothing when we loop around back to the... Thank you. 
over? Anderson. This part is just for you. After the haunting started, I got in touch with an organization that was still looking into what happened in Bright Falls. I went to their offices and something happened there. After I got home, I could suddenly remember everything. I remembered being trapped inside that lake, a dark ocean with, with echoes of myself, my, my, my fears, my photos inside a dark tide of, of madness, the same events and images looping again and again. And then I saw a light, your light. You dove in just as I swam out. You never drowned. And you're still there reaching out. That is what the haunting is. I can see you because I've been there too. I chose to come back to the dark place. That is why I put on this exhibition. I had to mislead you so that I could get you to where you needed to be. The only way out of your loop is destruction or ascension, light or dark. And we've covered the destruction part many times over. And we're getting to the ascension bit by bit. Time means nothing here. You'll still need to go through the loop. But I will keep showing you the images you need to see, the light you need to see, until you're ready. Ellen, I think we're getting close. <gasps> it's not a loop. It's a spiral. <laughs> 